Number 23, draw a best fit trend line for the following data. Well, all we're going to do here is, is find a line that seems to fit this data well. This data is going up from left to right. You kind of want to keep um, the line going in the same direction, have a few above the graph, a few below the graph. So this one would be a pretty good best fit line. Um, We're not all going to have the same answer. Someone else might have tried to do a line like that blue one, and that's fine also. Um, could even do one more, maybe a black one. We can, maybe it's a little less steep, but up higher to start with. So different options, um, but it should try to follow the data there. Next ones, we want to graph some inequalities. When we're graphing inequalities, remember we need to make two other decisions. We need to decide if there's a dashed line or a solid line. And then we also need to decide if we shade um, below or above. It's dashed. Let's just put it in here. If we use less than or greater than, solid. If we use less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So if it's got the or equal to, we do solid. Shade, we shade below for less than or less than or equal to. We shade above if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. And that's only if it's in slope intercept form. So let's go to this one. It is in slope intercept form. Um, so we can go ahead and start graphing this. Um, our y intercept is 1. And our slope is 3 fourths, so rise 3 and run 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we could go down 3 and left 4. There are some points there. Now, what type of line do we want? We want a solid line because it's got the or equal to. And so we can graph that in there. And then we want to shade, so we'll do some shading. And it's a greater than or equal to, so we need to shade above our line. So if you shade all of this in, I might not get all of it, but hopefully you get the idea. And there's the graph of that one. Next, we have x plus 3y is greater than negative 12. So we need to put this in slope-intercept form. So we subtract x from both sides. 3y is greater than negative x minus 12. Divide both sides by 3. It's really the same as dividing each term by 3. We did not divide by a negative, so we don't have to switch the sign. Negative 1 third x, like if we had to divide by negative 2 here or negative 5, that's when you have to switch the sign. So negative 1 third x minus 4. Y-intercept is negative 4. Our slope is negative 1 third, so we can go down 1, right 3. I'll do that a couple times here. Or we could go up 1 and left 3. Up one, left three. We need to determine the type of line. It's a greater than, it doesn't have the or equal to. So it can be a dashed line, or not can be, it has to be a dashed line. And so we graph this here. And then this is a greater than. We go to our y-intercept form, our slope-intercept form. Um, this is a greater than, so we shade above. That's not what I wanted to do. And so we'll shade above. Maybe I can care a lot more with this. Now the dashed line, remember, that means um, 
solutions go all the way up to that line, but the points on the line are not solutions to this inequality. So there's the graph of that inequality. Next, we want to do distance and midpoint. Earlier we listed these two formulas. Let's write them again. The distance formula is the square root of the difference of the x values squared plus the difference of the y values squared. Make sure you know your functions. The midpoint is simply the average of the x's, so add the x values divide by 2, add the y values, and divide by 2. Know your formulas. So the distance between the two points, well, the distance is going to equal the square root of 6 minus 0 squared, x value minus x value, plus y value minus y value, 10 minus 18 squared, which this equals 6 squared is 36, 10 minus negative, or 10 minus 18 is negative 8, negative 8 squared is positive 64, 36 plus 64 is 100, so the distance between those two points is 10. That's part of our answer. It also asks us to find the midpoint. The midpoint is the average so we'll add the two x values together, x plus 0 over 2, and then 10 plus 18 over 2. Uh, this is 3. 10 plus 18 is 28, divided by 2 is 14. We also could have, these are nice easy ones to do, halfway between 6 and 0 is 3, halfway between 10 and 18 is 14. And the next one, Distance, we'll plug that in. So the square root of negative 5 minus 2 squared. Negative 5 minus 2 plus 2 minus negative 1 squared. That's going to equal the square root of negative 7 squared plus the, uh, 3 squared. 2 minus negative 1 is 3. So this is the square root of 49 plus 9 equals the square root of 58. Whatever that's equal to, somewhere between 7 and 8. And then the midpoint, we average the x's. So negative 5 plus 2. This one's a little more difficult, so using the formula might be more necessary than it was over here. So x value plus x value divided by 2, and then y value plus y value divided by 2. Average of the x's, average of the y's. We get negative 3 over 2, and 2 and negative 1 is 1 over 2. And that's the midpoint. And there's those questions worked out.